Initially, the reason I came to Imperial was because of the research opportunities. So the first thing I did was Google uh, luminescence because that's what I'm most interested in. I did a nine-week Europe placement with Professor Stephen Skinner as my supervisor in conjunction with sensor coding systems. Most of my work was here at Imperial. It was a chemical synthesis um, sort of project. We were working with thermoluminescent paint pigments and we were trying to make core shell structures for these paints. I was doing a Europe with um, the Stevens Group, which is kind of a cross between bioengineering and materials, working with one of their postdocs to kind of develop and optimize a diagnostic device for ovarian cancer. So kind of like how a pregnancy test works using the same kind of technology but for ovarian cancer biomarkers. About a year ago, I actually emailed the group leader um, of the, the whole Stevens group. She didn't really have space, but I tried again this year and she kind of knew that I was interested by this point. And I went through the application process and got funding. It's very different from doing an undergraduate program. It's more independent learning. And with the Europe, you can decide how much you want to get out of it. It's made me sure that I want to continue doing research. It was a really good experience. The Europe was probably the best thing I could have done. I learned so many new techniques, which I would never have kind of come across if I hadn't applied for this. It's also kind of directly led onto my master's project, which is what I'm doing now. The Europe is kind of a bit more of an opportunity to be creative and plan your own experiments. For me, that was really great. Top tips if someone wants to do a Europe is be persistent. Uh, academics will find something for you if you seem enthusiastic and engaged enough. Don't be afraid to ask everybody. You can ask your peers, you can ask postdocs, or just different supervisors. So top tips for anyone looking to do a placement, I'd say apply to as many as you can and apply early because you don't want to be disappointed if you don't get your first choice. It's given me a good chance to kind of be independent and plan my experiments and kind of realise that a PhD is in fact what I want to do with the next stages of my life. So that's kind of been a great personal development.